Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be evaluating an algebraic expression. We have x over x squared plus 1 equals 1 over 5, and we're going to evaluate x squared divided by x to the fourth plus 1. And I'll be presenting three methods, even though one of the methods will be incomplete. Guess which one? Alright, let's start with the first one. For my first method, I'm going to go ahead and cross multiply the first expression and that's going to give me x squared plus 1 equals 5x. And now at this point, we can go ahead and isolate x squared and write it as 5x minus 1. And then the next step would be squaring both sides. Let's go ahead and square both sides. And the reason behind that is to get x to the fourth power. Now this gives us 25x squared minus 10x plus 1. Now notice that x squared can always be replaced with 5x minus 1. So let's go ahead and rewrite this expression. x to the fourth equals 25. And now we're going to now replace x squared with 5x minus 1. And then square it minus 10x plus 1. And now we need to kind of square 5x minus 1. Actually, not there's no square there, so it should just be that. So let's go ahead and simplify it. 125x minus 25 minus 10x plus 1. So this would be equivalent to x to the fourth power. Let's simplify this. In other words, we wrote it as a linear expression. 115x minus 25 plus 1. That would be minus 24. Okay? Since we're trying to evaluate x squared over x to the fourth plus 1, we're going to replace x squared with 5x minus 1. As you know, they're equivalent. And x to the fourth with 115x minus 24 but don't forget there's a plus one here when you add that this is going to become 5x minus 1 divided by 115x minus 24 plus 1 is going to give you minus 23 so far so good now let's go ahead and simplify this expression because we have a common factor and that will be 23 because 115 is 23 times 5 and the one of the easiest way to figure that out real quick is basically if you think about 11.5 that's going to be half of 23 makes sense so now we're going to take out 23 that's going to give us 5x minus 1 let's go ahead and cancel out and that gives us 1 over 23 and since this is what we were looking for that will be the answer Make sense? Okay, so the answer is 1 over 23. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the second method and see what happens, if we can get the same one. So we're given that x over x squared plus 1 is equal to 1 over 5. So what I'm going to do is, given the situation like with the second and fourth powers, I'm going to go ahead and flip this, okay? And that's going to give me x squared plus 1 over x equals 5. And then we, we can separate this. And obviously the motivation behind that is when we flip both sides, then it's going to be separable, right? We can write this as x plus 1 over x equals 5. And now at this point, since we want to get to the fourth powers, we're going to square both sides. Okay. That gives us x squared plus 1 over x squared plus 2ab is going to give us 2 times x times 1 over x. But you can go ahead and cancel them out. And that gives us 25. And then this expression, if you subtract 2 from both sides, you get x squared plus 1 over x squared equals 25 minus 2, which is 23. Hmm. If you remember the first method, this should look familiar, but let's pretend we don't. And now we're going to make a common denominator. That's going to give us x to the fourth plus 1 over x squared equals 23. And remember what the problem was asking for? X, to the f x squared divided by x to the fourth plus 1. Exactly the reciprocal of this expression. x squared over x to the fourth plus 1. It's just going to be the reciprocal of 23, which is 1 over 23. And remember, that was the same answer that we got with the first method. And hopefully you're going to let me know which method you like the best. And the second best. And the third best. Okay? Alright. Great. So far... We got two methods. Let's go ahead and do the third one. Remember, I told you I was going to present three methods, and I'm pretty sure you're going to find the fourth one, right? Great. So let's pick it up from where we did the cross multiplication. Remember, we had the 
x over x squared plus 1 equals 1 over 5. And then we did cross multiplication like this and like that. And that's we, what we got, right? Obviously, the third method is not going to use anything we used with the first and second. So what are we going to do? We're going to go ahead and put everything on the same side and then solve for x, right? Obviously. And I, I just thought of uh, another way to approach this too. Maybe you can call this 3a or 3b. Uh, 2b would be better, but anyways. Uh, we can also go ahead and do this. We can kind of like, let me see. We can kind of write this as x squared equals 5x minus 1 and then divide everything by x. And that should give you something like this. Yeah, I guess I, me I meant to bring the one over here. So like this, you can go ahead and add one to both sides or just leave the 5x there and divide by x. That's going to give us x plus 1 over x equals 5. So yeah, I mean, no matter how we approach it, it's pretty much going to be the same thing. But you could probably approach it from different angles. Anyways, let's continue with this one. Now, we're going to go ahead and solve it using the, the awesome quadratic formula. Negative b plus minus the square root of b squared, which is 25, minus 4ac, which is 4. And all of that is divided by 2. And from here, x becomes 5 plus minus the square root of 21 divided by 2. So 21 doesn't contain any perfect square, so we're going to leave it like this. And now is the time for the fun part. Substitution. Yay. So this is x, and we do need to find what x squared divided by x to the fourth plus 1 is, right? So how do you find that? Exactly. I mean, first of all, you have to pick your x, right? It doesn't matter which one you pick. I don't think so, but you can definitely test it out and let me know. But suppose we go with this one because we're trying to be positive, right? Great. So now let's go ahead and evaluate x squared from here. You're going to square both sides. That's going to give you 25 plus 21 plus 10 root 21 all over 4. Simplify this a little bit. 46 and then divide by 2, 23. Divide by 2, 5 root 21. And divide by 2, you're going to get 2. Okay. So that's kind of like x squared in the simplest form. It's a radical. And then let's go ahead and evaluate x to the fourth. x to the fourth is just going to be x squared squared, right? And then you can go ahead and square this. Wow, that's a lot of work. 23 squared, I think, is 529. It should be 25 times 21, which should be 525. And then plus 23 times 5 times 2, which is 115. That's 230 root 21 all over 4. And good luck simplifying that. As you know, this is going to be incomplete. I told you this is a lot of work, but you can still do it and let me know. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.